Oh, gee, come on, man. They're still up seven right now, but a face mask penalty. Now the uh, defense are holding. Automatic first down on third and 18. The Hoosiers got it around the 35. First and 10. Minute and 48 to go. Eight on the play clock. Man in motion. Here they go. They give it to 34. He's got nothing. Nothing. Nothing but a wall of Buckeyes over there. All right, Diamant, man. I don't like that kid. Idiot. Fucking dork was over there giving the Manziel cash sign. You're still down seven, you clown. There he goes. Takes the snap. He throws. He got a man. They got a first down. Maybe. It's close. It's going to be close. Of course, they're giving the Hoosiers a nice spot. <clears throat> Just like they've, they've noticed every time the Buckeyes have grabbed a face mask, they've noticed and called the penalty. This one... When the Hoosiers grabbed the Buckeyes face mask, however, they didn't say, oh, I didn't see that, bro. I didn't see it, man. Sorry. Minute and 15 to go. Hoosiers are in no hurry here. If they score, will they go for two? That's the question. Will they go for the win? Do they have the guts? He throws. Shit, man. They're down to the five-yard line. What the fuck's my lighter? Shut up. I'm sick of that announcer, man. I'm sick of that fucking guy. I've been hearing him all day getting excited for the news. Damn it. Diamant. Fuck Diamant, man. Shut up. Are we watching history? I knew that's what this guy's deal is. He's like, oh, dude, I just want to be on the highlights forever, man. I got some cool call. I hate announcers that start thinking about upsets and thinking about how cool they're going to sound. You're not Al Michaels, buddy. This isn't Russia. Okay, we're down to 27 seconds. Hoosiers. Uh-oh, Buckeyes just jumped off sides. Maybe it was a false start. They stopped the play. It might have been a false start. I think it was. False start. Move him back, Diamant. Moron. <coughs> All right, we got some time out here. We got some time out. We're going to get a pause in the action. There's Elliot, the man of the hour. All right. Here we go. 23 seconds to go. Second and goal. 34 27 Buckeyes. He's in the gun from the 10. Got a man in the slot. Two wide receivers to the outside. Boza! Oh, almost got him. He throws to the end zone. Nope. No deal. No deal. Man, Ohio State's got to watch it, man. Boza about went high with the hands there again. Could have got another fucking stupid penalty. Von Bell. You know it, dude. There's Lee and Perry covering the outside. Contain. Uh, Boza went for the ball. Diamant with that weak ass arm of his just didn't have enough on it. That's what happens when you're a little paper quarterback. I think he's about four for eleven now. Oh come on! Now we got another timeout. Unbelievable. We'll be back. Go. Doing it again. This time third and goal. Diamant's in the gun. He takes the snap. He's got some time. He's looking to run. He's got nowhere to go, dude. You ain't getting. You can't outrun him. Washington all over him. Was that Perry in there? Uh, I don't know. 59. Nice play, baby. Down to nine seconds. They're going to have one more shot at it here. Going to the end zone. Oh, my goodness. Cobbs, one of their best receivers, one of their only receivers. I don't know what the stats have been like today, but the first half was completely ugly. I'll start to give you a little bit of a recap here. As we enter this final play, the Hoosiers just wouldn't go away all day. Even had a lead momentarily in the second half. The Buckeyes come back on the back of Ezekiel Elliott, over 250 yards in the second half alone. Cardale Jones with another bad, horribly timed interception. Bunch of penalties on Ohio State, face masking mainly. Man, they had a defensive holding there at the end on Apple. Here we go now. Jalen Marshall had another big fumble, man, with a couple of good punt returns, though. Dontre Wilson with a hell of a play. All right, here we go. Fourth and goal from the 10. Dumont. Diamont, whatever the fuck his name is. 
The Joker. He takes the snap. Ah, no, he doesn't. He botches the snap. Now he's at the 30-yard line. He's going to have to throw one. <laughs> Idiots. They fucked up the snap. Typical, typical disgusting display of who's your football with the game on the line. So, yeah, where's the money sign now, Diamant, you dumbass? Oh, and now he takes his helmet off so everybody can see his stupid haircut. Must get those traits from his actor dad. Buddy, if you're in your 50s and you're on a soap opera, it's not a good thing. So anyhow, Boza runs him down, forces the air and throw to end the game. Gives him a nice little shoves his little punk ass to the ground, too. Nice job, Joey. And deflected in the end zone. So like I was saying, you know, Cardale with another interception. Jalen with another fumble. You know, they basically just threw the leash right on Cardale at the end. They had a third and long, and they ran the ball just to keep the clock going. Keeping it out of Cardale's hands. There's Diamant now. Putting the mouthpiece in his mouth sideways. Hanging out of his mouth. Apparently that's the cool thing to do. Wasn't the cool thing to do. Until Steph Curry started doing it. Alright, so now. 5-0. and Undefeated in the Big Ten. I don't know, I thought they'd be a pesky group today, these Hoosiers. Didn't expect this much out of them. I think I went 38-30 in the preview video. 34-27 is the final. We'll never get to know about that two-point conversion call. What would Kevin Wilson have done? So, I don't know. That pretty much does it right there. You know, early on, it was just ugly. Just an ugly first half of football. Second half, the Buckeyes got the ball moving, mainly because, like I said, in the running game, they're starting to develop a little bit there now. Elliott, though, mainly just speed, breaking away. Old number 16 for Indiana. Thought he was going to catch him on that last one. Uh-uh. Sorry, bud. Well, Poosers, it was nice. That little pink IU on your helmet was cute. Your 4-0 start was nice. Sorry. You still can't beat the Buckeyes. The border war won again by the Buckeyes. I know it's not really a serious border war, but they claim it. The mustache, F Zappa 20, another Buckeye recap. All right, I'm out of here. Sorry the recap ran a little short this week. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. You know you know those first couple minutes were good. All right, people. Thanks for watching every week. Well, if you watch every week. If you're a new Hoosier fan, sorry, chumps.